Well, like I said, I was going to keep you guys updated on this stuff. I got my Franken corn came in. And uh, this is the stuff I did not get from Monsanto, even though I do now have my Monsanto number. Um, this is the stuff I found at Elk Mound Seeds. I think I showed in my last video. So uh, take a look at this package here. So this is how it came. This is 2,500 seeds in this little pack right here. This was uh, about $80. So this is uh, Aspire is the name of it. Syngenta is a manufacturer. It is a, it's a sweet corn. And this stuff has the uh, attribute to insect protection. It's the G GMO stuff that they've got in there that kills bugs when they uh, eat any part of the plant. But, uh, well, it's got uh, 2,277 seeds per pound. Like I said, this is 2,500 seeds, just over a pound. This ain't gonna plant very much, so it's not very, not very big. But, uh, sat down, uh, see some of the nasty stuff in here. This is the treatment. This is the nasty stuff. Methanoxam, captan, carboxin, thiamethoxam, diphenicanolazole, Thyrain Safe Coat Blue. Well, uh, so I picked this thing out. And, uh, it's all packed up, sealed really nice. It's a good container. But I read the little little manual on it. There's some terrifying stuff in here. I mean, they uh, after you plant this stuff, there is a restricted entry interval, 24 hours, when you can't have anybody go into the field after you plant this stuff. And, uh, and they're saying you can't graze or feed livestock on any treated areas for six weeks after planting. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in here with these seeds. You know, long sleeve shirts, long pants, shoes, socks, chemical resistant gloves. And uh, pretty nasty stuff. But, uh, they want you to keep it out of the groundwater. There's just a certain number of crops that you can plant within 30 days um, where these seeds were planted. And just a you know, alpha. 30 days later to alfalfa, brassicas, leafy vegetables, cereal grains. So uh, for any other crop, the minimum plant back interval is 120 days. I mean, that's just nuts. But, uh, they, uh, you know, use instructions within 14 days of harvesting ears of corn. Corn plants must be chopped with a hoe or other garden tool to ensure that sweet corn insect pests do not develop resistance to this product. And uh, they restrict it, uh, can't plant more than 20 acres of this stuff. I don't know why that is. This is kind of an interesting one. There we are. Can't wait to try this stuff out. We will talk about the uh, the attribute two um, hybrid is what makes that Bacillus thuringiensis, and uh, those are the proteins that control the suppression of. European corn borer, southwestern corn borer, southern corn stock borer, earworm, army worm, beet army worm, true army worm, black cut worm, western bean cut worm, sugar cane borer, common stock borer, western corn, uh, corn stock borer, dingy cut worm. Uh, pretty wild stuff. So uh, they've also got the uh, you know the tolerance to the liberty and also the, the glyphosate. And uh, down here it says, you know, the, uh, they produce a protein that increases tolerance to glyphosate herbicides. So it's not really their first mention on what to use. I don't know what Liberty is or where to get it, but I think I'll just stick with my glyphosate. But, uh, crazy stuff, man. Um, 
Can't wait to try it out and see how it does and see what the difference is between that and just the organic stuff I grew last year.